What up? It's Thursday, and you know what that is. It's almost a weekend. That same energy that we look forward to the weekend, I want you to look forward to my words of the day. And today's word of the day is going to be fantastic. So let's go. Without further ado, boom, let's hit it. Good morning, good morning. It's Thursday, beautiful Thursday here in the great state of South Carolina, and I'm ready for another encouraging word. But before we get into it, let's do this. Subscribe. If you haven't seen my channel before, I've heard of me before, please subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell right there to your right. I don't want you to miss any material that I upload in the future. Also, give me that thumbs up. That's a like. I need that. I want that. Gotta have it. Also, Leave a comment. Any comment that you leave, I definitely read and I take time to respond back to you in a respectful and timely manner. And last but not least, I need you to watch my video in its entirety from the start to the finish. That also helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps me placement for as individuals that never have found me before. They can find me by punching in my name, comment chat, and coming right to my channel. <clears throat> well, let's go ahead and get into the word of the day. And we know what that is right here. Boom. Reputation, reputation. We all want to have a good reputation, but sometimes reputations aren't necessarily good. Sometimes reputations can be bad. It just depends on your mindset, your character, whatever you do in life. But we all try to strive for, or I think in my opinion, should strive for having a good reputation. I know I do. So, hey, definition of reputation is this. A widespread belief that someone or something has a particular habit or characteristic. A widespread belief that someone or something has a particular habit or characteristic. And something new I want to throw in too about <clears throat> my words today. I'm also going to give you a scripture today to go along with that word of the day. Here's for the word, the scripture for the word of the day. And it is from the book of Proverbs, the 22nd chapter, the first verse, and it says, "Choose a good reputation over great riches. Being held in high esteem is better than silver or gold." I say again, choose a good reputation over great riches. Being held in high esteem is better than silver or gold. Wow, that's very powerful. <clears throat> I definitely believe in that too. Also, go ahead and get into the quote of the day. The quote of the day is up for reputation is this. It takes 20 years to build a reputation and five minutes to ruin it. Mm, that is so true. If you think about that, I'm sure you do things differently. Let me say that quote of the day one more time. It takes 20 years to build a reputation, two decades, in five minutes, whew, five minutes, whew, to ruin it. If you think about that, you do things differently. <clears throat> and my thoughts on this, a good reputation in your personal or professional life is what we should all strive for. To have the reputation that you know what you're doing, that you're fair, you're faithful, you're knowledgeable, and whatever positive trait you think is very important helps develop that reputation. Not everyone is going to like you no matter what your reputation is. But if you have a reputation which is which characteristics are being fair, being trustworthy, being honest, I think that those tricks will garner you an acceptable level of respect. <clears throat> One thing that I know about myself is that I can be brutally honest at times. But my thought process is you don't have to wonder what I'm thinking. If you ask me, I will tell you. And sometimes even if you don't ask me, I will tell you. I've heard that I've been called many things where I work. And if I'm truthful with myself, some of those things may have been true. I don't think anymore. There was a time when I was a butthole and I didn't care what I said or how I said it at work and at home. I'm amazed sometimes my wife st stuck with me because there were times when I was just plain awful. Through all of that, I have a reputation that I've worked hard to build and protect. I am stern, fair, and adaptable at work. At home now, I've become more thoughtful and more caring to my family. And I watch what I say to my family and how I say it. At both home and work, I am dependable. And if I can say I will and can do something, I deliver. My goal is striving to become my better self and strengthen my reputation in a positive manner. I have learned over the years that the key to have a good reputation is that you need to be consistent, dependable, and knowledgeable. Sprinkle some approachability to that 
empathy and compromise, you're well on your way to having a good reputation. I will close by saying that it's sad that one misstep can destroy the lifetime that an individual of having a great reputation. That's, that's truly sad, but it's true. But after all, none of us are perfect. And last time I checked, there's only been one perfect person on earth, and none of us are him. So, reputation. Reputation, reputation. People strive to have good reputation. Some people don't care about the reputation. Some people are famous. Some people are infamous. Mm. Sometimes, I guess, both can be good, but sometimes the latter can be very, very bad and negative. I, I strive to be uh, to have a good reputation. I, try to, I strive to have a reputation at work. That if my supervisors tell me to do something, I don't that I don't hesitate, I don't delay, I jump right on it. Um, I try to have a reputation of being a problem solver, or trying to fix problems, trying to come up with issues and solutions um, to, to issues. That if something comes up, I try to fix it. Now, there, in the past, and I've got um, corrective criticism from my supervisors. I've been a little bit on the negative side, but now I'm trying to be Mr. Glass half full, and I'm trying to come in a way that if something is is um, placed on my plate, and I don't necessarily like it, I try to keep my negative thoughts and remarks to a minimum, and just try to work on it and do the best that I can. Um, I think it's my job um, at my work specifically, I'm talking more about work, but I'm going to talk about home as well, that... Um, I'm not going to be a yes man. My reputation, I don't think, is a yes man. Um, if my boss asks me something, um, I'm going to tell him. I think it's my duty um, to be in his on his staff to don't sugarcoat, sugarcoat stuff. Um, I'm going to tell him how I feel and what I think in a respectful manner, and that's the reputation that I want. Um, of course, it's his show. I want to do what he says, but I would be um, doing him a disservice if I didn't tell him pros and cons to every situation, how I felt, and the problems that I see that some of the, uh, the issues that we have in our different profession. Also at home, too, um, with my wife, um, there was a time when I thought if your husband and wife <clears throat> that you always have to try to agree on stuff, and you know, my wife says this, my, and my husband says this, but no, and I tell my wife, and she'll tell you that um, just because your husband and wife don't mean I'm always going to agree, and I'm not going to, if you're out in public and something, I'm not going to be split. But when we come, come back home, um, even with finances, with um, things to do with our children, with things to do with any aspect of our marriage, um, out in the public, yeah, we're going to be one united front. But at home, I, I don't agree with you on that. And she tells me the same thing. And, and, and I had to learn that. Because at one time, I thought that just because she said she wanted this or this or this or said something, that I had to find a way to agree. But no. Um, if I agree with it, then of course I'm going to do it until, and if I don't, sometimes I still may do it, but I'm going to voice my opinion and be like, look, I'm going to do this, but I don't want to agree with it because this is this, and I don't think it's going to work because of this, this, and this, but if you you want to try it, we'll try it, and then when it doesn't, I'll be like, well, the whole day be like, see, I told you so, I told you so, but now I'll be like, see, well, maybe next time, let's try it this way, or let's try and find a solution that we both are comfortable with. That's what you got to do. You got to have a reputation. You can have a reputation. I met my reputation early in our marriage was I was a butthole, sarcastic, smart, and sometimes I still have some of those tricks, but I am actively trying to fight that. I don't want the reputation that my wife and family think that uh he's a he's a smart ass, he's a butthole, he's this, this and that, and whatever the case may be. I want them to have the reputation that, yeah, I see the progression that um, my husband's doing, my father's doing, and he's trying to do the right thing. That's the reputation I want. I want to try to do the right thing. I try to give my children all sound advice without being, and I try to listen to their side of the story and listen to their point of view and then try to use my years of experience and my things that I've been through that's similar to them. Sometimes they've been through some things that I've never been through, but I try to give them sound advice. Um, the reputation that I want my kids to say when I'm going, going, is like, hey, um, Danny was solid. My dad was solid. Um, he always had my back. Um, if I did something wrong, he was quick to tell me. But he never left me out there to dry. I'm never going to leave my family, my kids out to dry. Um, I'm very proud of them. And um, the reputation that I have, I want to, to spill off on them. Because the reputation that I try to have, even my family when I was back in that city, um, my, the grand family to me, <clears throat> I'm not saying we were the best, but we were a close and tight-knit family. And I was very proud of my name. I had an uncle. He's no longer with us. 
I was very proud of our name, and I am very proud of the Graham name. Um, and I try to make sure that that name is synonymous with something that's positive. That's something that if I tell you I'm going to do something, then I'm going to do it. If I tell you I can't do something, then you're not going to wonder about it. You're not going to be like, well, I don't know if Danny's going to do this. Not No, if I tell you something, and I, th I think everybody that works for me, if I tell you I can do something, and I tell my people my um, people that work for me um, all the time, if I tell you I'm going to do something, or if I tell you to do something, don't worry about me hanging out to dry. That ain't going to happen. I'm not built like that. That's not in my DNA. My reputation, if I tell you I'm going to do it, then I'm going to do it. If I can't do it, I can't do it. I'm not going to hee-haw and go back and forth. I'm just going to tell you how I feel, and that's how it is. And I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but if you, if, uh, if what I say hurt your feelings, then I'm sorry. Because I'm going to ask you most of the time, when you come to me, I'm going to say, going to be nice and going to be truthful. If you choose the latter, then I'm going to tell you what I'm, how I feel. And I hope that it don't hurt your feelings, but if it does, then you, maybe you shouldn't ask. But that's the reputation I try to have. The reputation I try to have, if someone calls and needs my help, and if I can help you, I am going to help you. That's the kind of reputation that I think everybody should have. And that's the reputation that I strive for. And I learned that from the men in my family. Um, they, they never told me a lie that I'm aware of. If my dad said he could do it, he would. If my uncle said they could do it, they could. If they couldn't, then I knew that they couldn't do it. And that's how I am. <clears throat> to have a very strong reputation. Um, but there's some things that sometimes, and sometimes you can be compromised, um, but you just got to fight that. You can't, I mean, if you lose your word, if you have a reputation of, of lying, of cheating, of stealing, that's going to follow you. It takes a long time to shake off negative connotations to your, to your, your reputation, to your word, to your character. If you don't stick with your word, you don't stick with your reputation, and if you get a negative reputation or a reputation as a womanizer or a reputation, or, oh, excuse me, a reputation as a as a drunkard, someone that drinks all the time, want to party all the time, sometimes that can follow you in, and sometimes it can can cause you to miss out on certain things, certain blessings, certain job promotions, certain opportunities. So I just try to have a positive uh, reputation. Um, I don't go out and hang out and stuff. Um, my circle of friends is, is very small. Um, I try to do the best I can at my job. Uh, I, I am faithful to my wife, and I definitely try to 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 be a, a role model, an example for my children, my son, my daughters. Um, I just try to have a very good reputation. And I know some people will probably be like, "Ah, oh, he's full of junk." I mean, that's your opinion, but um, that's what I try to do. I know a good reputation is something. That I, like I said earlier, like the quote today said, it takes a long time to build it, and um, it takes a few minutes. One, one wrong misstep, something bad, something stupid, something dumb, something careless, and it could tarnish it. In some cases, it could destroy it. So just be careful on um, what you say and what you do. A lot of times, that's why I don't get on like Facebook and all these other forms of social media, because you can say something. <clears throat> It can be taken out of context, and it can mess your reputation up. How many times have you seen all these famous people say something on Facebook or social media, and then next thing you know, it hits the 6 o'clock news, and now their reputation is tarnished. It almost happened to an actor that I'm very fond of. His name is Jonathan Majors. Um, social media got him, and he, for a while, man, he's in a mess. Right now, Michael Irvin, social media got him, and right now he's on, he's on ESPN, and it's been a while since we've seen Michael Irvin on TV. And so I'm just telling you, man, these things Johnny Depp with his with his wife, Amber Heard. So it's just it's the examples and the different cases are just on and on and on. I can name more and more and more, but I'm just telling you those three just off the top of my head right there, how social media, how one thing, they they spent a long time building their reputation, got a good name, and then one bad moment in time, one mistake, one too many pictures or one text too many or whatever the case may be has ruined or, or tarnished their reputation. Maybe not, it's going to be tarnished forever, but right now it's, it's pretty tarnished. And we don't know whether like, they're going to be able to recover from it. So just make sure in the future, whatever you're doing, um, if you cherish and you want to protect your reputation, um, you got to make sure you're doing stuff. And sometimes you can destroy your own reputation. Um, being jealous, um, not being patient, just doing, not being clear on some stuff. Um, all the words I talk about. Think, not thinking before you speak, not having enough faith, not having enough guidance, um, wanting to, don't want to hear the word no, 
being divisive, not getting recharged, not being thankful. Uh, your point of view can be all negative, never positive. Um, aggravation, be aggravated all the time. Um, not looking at the other man's shoes. Regret, regretting every decision that you make, regretting this and that kind of stuff. Um, not persevering over things, not being motivated, not getting recharged. All the words that I've covered in the past <clears throat> two weeks, three, two and a half weeks, I just used. And those are things that if not using correctly or not being done or you feeling that negative part of all those words can, can cause you to have a bad light shown on your reputation. And you don't want that. Reputation is very, very hard to get and grow and protect. But it's easily destroyed. Just like there's a saying about um, it's so, so, so um, easy to get in trouble, but very hard to get out of trouble. Your reputation can be destroyed so easily, but it's so hard. It took such a long time to build your reputation and get that reputation and have people, when, once they hear your name, they like, yes, yeah, yeah. He may be kind of tough, man, but you can depend on him. That's what I want to hear. Yeah, Major Graham, he was, he was kind of tough, man. He was kind of my butthole at times, but Guess what? I knew where I stand with him. If he said he could do something, he did it. I knew if I went to him and he would give me the best possible legal answer he could give me. That's the reputation that I want. I don't have to always be liked. I don't have to always be loved. But if you respect me and you know that look, hey, yeah, I didn't care for him too much. But Major Graham, when I asked him something, I knew that the answer was coming from a good place and he's going to try and help me. That's the reputation that I can live with all day long, twice on Sunday. Now, again, that's my two cents on that. And before we get out of here, I want to hit that uh, quote of the day one more time. And that it takes 20 years to build a reputation, five minutes to ruin it. So if, if you think about that, you do things differently. So let's go ahead and do things differently before we ruin a reputation that took us so, so, so very long to build. Don't want to see it destroyed in five minutes over silliness. So <clears throat> tomorrow, the word of the day will be failure. Failure. Mm. Boy, that should be very interesting. But as always, if you're first time ever coming to my show, please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Please hit me that like, that thumbs up you see right there. Click on that. Also, leave a comment. And most definitely, 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 please, 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 in the words of James Brown, watch my video from the beginning to the end. Until tomorrow, take it easy. Have a good day. Peace.